Hi y'all, this is Larry from Deep South Texas. Today, we're going to make a pepper jack cheese. And here's the list of ingredients. We have three gallons of whole milk, a packet of mesophilic starter culture, we'll use three quarters of a teaspoon of calcium chloride, three quarters of a teaspoon of liquid rennet, one teaspoon of jalapenos from the garden that have been dehydrated and crushed, and one teaspoon of jalapenos that, uh, that were also red, and they have also been dehydrated and crushed. We'll use two tablespoons of cheese salt, and of course I have a spray bottle of vinegar I'll be using throughout the day. So the first thing we're going to do is start heating up our milk to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And while the milk is heating up, we're going to add our jalapenos to about a cup of water. And we're going to boil these for 10 minutes. Okay, we have the milk at our target temperature of 90 degrees. Now we're going to put in the mesophilic culture. Just going to sprinkle it on the top. And in five minutes, we'll come back and stir that in. And then we'll let it set for 45 minutes. Well, it's been 45 minutes. Let's add in the calcium chloride. And thoroughly mix that in. And now we're going to add in the rennet. And we mix, mix the rennet in for not more than a minute. And now we'll let that set for 45 minutes. Well, it's been 45 minutes. It's time to check for a clean break. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to uh, go ahead and cut the curd here. About half inch cubes is what we're looking for. So I'll cut it horizontally and then vertically and then I'll cut it diagonally. Okay, the curd has been cut and now we're going to let it rest for five minutes to heal. So the curds have had time to heal and now we're going to try to increase the temperature from 90 degrees to 100 degrees over the next 40 minutes. And uh, while we're gently stirring the curds at first, if we notice any big pieces of curd, meaning we didn't, uh, we didn't get them cut very well, we'll cut those with the spoon. And they cut real easily at this point in the game. Again, we'll be heating this up over the next 40 minutes to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's uh, been about 40 minutes. We're at 100 degrees. 
And now we're going to uh, wash the curd. So we're just going to remove some of the whey and replace it with water. This lowers the acid and makes for a little bit sweeter cheese. So I've removed the whey down to the uh, level of the curd and now I'm going to put in some water that's also at 100 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, to replace the whey that I removed. All right, and now we continue to stir this for another 30 minutes, maintaining the 100 degree temperature. And after that, we'll drain the rest of the whey and add the chili flakes. Now, let's uh, drain off the whey. I'm going to save that whey and put it in the garden. That's enough for that pan. And we'll let that drain for a little bit. Then I'm going to put the curds back in the original pan and salt them and put the pepper in. Okay, now we're going to mix in two tablespoons of cheese salt. And we're going to just sprinkle that over the top and then mix it in with our hands. And then we're going to mix in our chili peppers that have been quietly waiting for quite a long time now. So that's what they look like. They're going in now. And I thought about wearing gloves for this, but I'm just going to brave it. Hopefully I'll be okay. Get those all in there. So red and green chili, chili peppers should be uh, should be a pretty colorful cheese when all is done. Well, I think that's mixed up pretty good. And now it's time to put it into the mold. So I have the mold lined with cheesecloth and uh, I'm just going to Scoop this into the, into the mold. Try not to spill any. <laughs> All right. Try to tighten up the cheesecloth. Keep wrinkles out of the cheese. Cover that up and put in the follower. And I think we're ready to move that to the press. So I'm going to start that out with about uh, 10 pounds of pressure for about 30 minutes. 
Then we're going to take it out and flip it and uh, increase the weight. Okay, it's been about a half hour. I have removed the cheese from the press and I'm going to uh, get ready to flip it and redress it in the cheesecloth and put it back into the press, this time with about 25 pounds of pressure. Looks pretty. Okay, it's uh, back in the press. We have about uh, 25 pounds of pressure on it now. We'll leave it like this for about an hour and then we'll flip it again and put on 50 pounds of pressure. And then we'll leave that overnight. Well, the pepper jack cheese is out of the cheese press and it's looking good. Looks like a pretty nice distribution of the uh, red and the green jalapenos. Um, you can see some orange color from the juice from the peppers is uh, coloring the cheese a little bit. There is uh, no annatto in this at all, so we'll let this set on the counter for the next two or three days and let it dry out a little bit. It is uh, a little bit more moist than, than I was expecting, but it looks good. So here's the cheese after it's been uh, drying for about three days. It really looks pretty. It's uh, not quite as dry as I like, but I want to get it uh, into the cheese fridge. So I'm going to put it in a ripening box all for a week or so I'll flip it every day and then I will either um, wax it or vacuum bag it. Well this cheese should be ready to try in about uh, two to three months so around the holidays we'll be we'll be dragging it out and giving it a uh, taste test so please please join us for that. I hope you liked this video if you did please hit that thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and of course please subscribe we'll see you again next time